Holger Rune versus Carlos Alcaraz is the second quarterfinal for the Paris Masters for 2022. And both players have had different roads to get to the quarterfinal stage. Runa started the tournament off unseeded and will take on Stan Wawrinka, the veteran, in the first round. And after losing the first set, he had to come back and fight for the win, eventually beating Stan in three, four, six, seven, five, seven, six. In the second round, Runa will take on the number 10 seed, Herkatch, who's playing for an ATB final spot. But Runa would take out Herkatch and take out his chances of making the ATB finals, winning in straight sets, 7-5, 6-1. In the third round, he take on another player who was playing for an ATP final spot, the number seven seed, Rublev. And again, Runa was not intimidated by a top 10 guy, beating Rublev in straight sets, 6-4, 7-5 to advance to the quarterfinals. Alcaraz came into the tournament as the number one seed, and for the first time in a big tournament, playing as the number one player, he got a buy in the first round. In the second round, he took on Nishioka, but this was a straightforward matchup for him, as Alcaraz prevailed in straights, 6-4, 6-4. In the third round, he take on the veteran Dimitrov, and again, just like the Nishioka match, Alcaraz had no trouble getting through in straight sets, 6-1, 6-3, to get to the quarterfinals of Paris. These guys have only played the one time before. That was at the next-gen finals at the end of last year with a weird sort of scoring system. And Alcaraz won that match, but I don't think there's much we can look into that one because of the way they score that being at 4-2, 4-3. It's not really a proper match. So they really haven't played a serious match yet. If Rune is going to win, he has to be fearless. Both these guys have that fearlessness in them, but Holger Rune doesn't have anything to lose. Alcaraz is the number one, so he's expected to win. Rune has got to come out, be super aggressive. They know each other's game well because they are friends, but Holger Rune, he's going to have to be aggressive and not be on the back end of that Alcaraz aggressive game. If Alcaraz is going to win, he needs to be the one who gets aggressive first. And also we need to see how his knee holds up because he has been having trouble with a knee this week, which could be a weakness. So he has to be more aggressive than probably usual because he doesn't want to run around too much against this kid. This is going to be a very fun matchup. As I mentioned, they're both friends. They're both kind of grown up together, both 19 year olds, very exciting players, but I'm going to go with Alcaraz. I think experience is on Alcaraz's side just a little bit because Runa hasn't really made it to the heights of heights yet. He's had a very good year, but Alcaraz had a better year. And I'm gonna go with Alcaraz in three sets, but this is gonna be fun, fireworks, two fearless players going at it. Who do you think is gonna win this matchup? 